All right, the final unit in Algebra 2 is called trigonometry, the unit circle. And this lesson is called degrees, radians, and arc length. Okay, so you are probably familiar with measuring angles and degrees, but you can also measure angles and radians. So I'm not sure what calculator you have, but if you were to go on mine, if you click mode, and you, and you scroll down a little bit, but you'll see there's something for degrees and there's something for radians, okay? So, this first definition is a radian. Where's my definition? Here it is. A radian is a unit of angle measure based on arc length. Recall from geometry that an arc is an unbroken part of a circle. If a central angle, that's the Greek letter for theta, okay, T-H-E-T-A. If a central angle theta is in a circle of radius R, then the measure of theta is defined as one radian. Okay, so here's what you need to know. To convert from degrees to radians, you multiply by pi over 180. And to convert from radians to degrees, you multiply by 180 over pi. Okay. So that's what you have to know. All right, so example one, convert each degree measure to radians. Okay, so we're gonna take 30 degrees and you're gonna multiply by pi over 180. That equals 30 pi over 180. And you should always simplify the fraction. So if you divide each one by the GCF of 30, it gives you pi over 6 radians. So that'll be the answer. Example 1b, multiply by pi over 180 again. Okay, 270 times pi over 180. That equals 270 pi over 180. Simplify that fraction. If you recognize the GCF is 90, you can divide by that and it'll be faster. Divide by 90 over 90 and you get 3 pi over 2 radians. Okay. The next example is the opposite direction. Okay, Convert each radian measure to degrees. So looking above, that means you're going to multiply by 180 over pi. Okay. So pi over 4 radians times 180 over pi. The pi's are going to divide out, and you, you're left with 180 over 4. Oops, I wrote pi by mistake. I'm going to change that to 4. All right, so like I said, the pi's divide out. You're left with 180 over 4, which equals 45 degrees. Same thing for example 2b, convert the radian measure to degrees. So you're going to multiply by 180 over pi. So 5 pi over 3 times 180 over pi. So the, the pi's divide out. You're left with 5 times 180 over 3. Five times 180 is 900 over 3. Which equals 300 degrees. Okay. 
Okay. The next page talks about, about arc length. Okay. So for a circle of radius R, okay, the length, the arc length, which is denoted with the letter S, okay, I'm not sure why the letter S is used for that, but S is what's used for that. Okay. The arc length S intercepted by a central angle theta measured in radians, okay, that's key, measured in radians, is given by the following formula. The arc length S equals the radius times the theta, the central angle theta. Example three, find the length of each bolded arc below in terms of phi. So let's write down the formula first. The arc length S equals radius times theta. Theta is the central angle. Okay, so for this example, the radius is 10. You're going to do 10 times 3 pi over 2 because that's the central angle for the bolded arc. Multiply them together, you get 30 pi over 2. You can simplify that to 15 pi. I might as well throw on the unit's feet. Okay, so that's example 3a. Now notice the difference between 3A and 3B, okay? In 3A, the central angle was in radians. In 3B, the central angle is in degrees, okay? However, you have, you have to have it in radians, so you're gonna have to convert, just like we did on the first page, okay? So convert the 60 degrees to radians. In case you forgot already, To convert from degrees to radians, multiply by pi over 180. Okay, so let's convert 60 degrees to radians. 60 times pi over 180. Equals 60 pi over 180. Which simplifies to divide by 60. And it simplifies to 1 over 3. So I'm just going to say 1 pi, just pi over 3. So that's what you're going to use in the arc length formula. Okay, so let's move on to the arc length formula. Arc length S equals the radius R times the central angle theta. So S equals 18 times pi over 3. That will give you 18 pi over 3, which is 6 pi. Let's fill the units on there, centimeters. Okay. All right, on to the next page. Okay. One definition. A unit circle. Okay, a unit circle. Is a circle with a radius of one unit. Its center is at the origin of the coordinate plane. For every point P, X of Y, on the circle, the value of R is one, because the radius is one. Okay. So example four. It says fill in the circle below in degrees and radians. Okay, so this is something I, you're going to have to memorize. Okay, you're going to have to have this memorized. Okay, you're going to have to have this memorized. 
So again, a circle is 360 degrees. So we're going to start over here. Let's let's do the degrees first, then we'll do the radians. Okay, let's start with the degrees. Okay. So a circle is 360 degrees. I'm going to call this zero degrees. And then when we get back around, we're going to be back and we'll be at 360. So I'm going to say zero degrees or 360. If that's zero degrees, then halfway is 180 degrees, a semicircle. If that's zero or 360 when you, when you get back around and that's 180, then halfway is 90. And so that means this has to be 270. I think that's good now. All right. Okay. So again, you gotta you gotta have this memorized. So from here to here is gonna be thirty degrees. Then you're gonna go up fifteen to forty five. Then you're gonna go up fifteen again to sixty. And then you go up thirty to get to ninety. Okay. And then it kind of repeats. So from here to here, you're gonna add thirty to get to one twenty. Then you're going to add 15 to get to 135. Then you add 15 again to get to 150. And then you add 30 to get to 180. And then you add 30 again to get to 210. Okay, then you add 15, 225. Then you add 15, 240. Then you add 30 to get to 270. Then you add 30 again to get to 300. Then you add 15, 315. Then you add 15, 330. And then you add 30 again, you get to 360. Okay. So I guess bottom line to summarize from the x axis to this is 30. So we see how this is 30 right here. And this is 30 right here. And this is 30 right here. And this is 30 right here. Those are all 30. Uh, from the y-axis to the angles are also 30. See, 30 right here, 30 right here, 30 right here, and 30 right here. And then in the middle, they're all like plus 15. So plus 15, 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 plus 15. Okay. So I want I want you to have this memorized. Okay. You got to have this memorized. At some point. You should be able to, if I give you the blank circle like I like we had before I started writing on it, you should be able to fill all this in and you should be able to do it relatively quickly at some point, hopefully. All right. So now we also have to fill in the radians. Now, can you just take all these angle measures and multiply them all by pi over 180 like we did on the first page? Yes, but we don't want to do that, okay? We don't want to do that. You should be able to have these memorized. Okay, that's the goal. The goal is to have this memorized at some point. So let's let's go and let's try to learn it and let's try to do the tricks. Okay, so let's start off with with the four main ones. Okay, zero degrees is zero pi or two pi when you get to three sixty. Okay, so zero degrees is zero pi or 2 pi when you get to 360, which means that 180 has to be 1 pi. Think about it. If 0 pi is here, and when I get all the way around, I'm at 2 pi, then halfway has to be 1 pi. If that's, if that's 0 pi and that's 1 pi, then this one up here is going to be half of pi. But you don't write it like that. You write it as pi over 2. If this is 0 pi, and that's pi over 2, and that's 1 pi, the down here will be 1 and a half pi, 
which you're going to write as 3 pi over 2. Again, you want to be, you need to have this memorized. That is the goal. All right, so we have four of the radians filled in. We have this one over here filled in, we have this one up here filled in, this one over here filled in, and this one down here filled, filled in, okay? Um, so those are like the four main ones. Now we have 12 more to fill in. There's a couple tricks, okay? So the values closest to the x-axis are always going to be something over 6, okay? So this one's going to be something over 6. This one's going to be something over 6. This one's going to be something over 6. And this one's going to be something over 6. And so the trick is that it cannot be simplified. The fractions should not be able to be simplified. So, for example, the first one is always going to be 1 pi, which you're just going to put as pi. Pi over 6. And the trick is that your fractions can never be simplified. So the next one, if you do 2 pi over 6, that can be simplified because you can simplify 2 over 6. Okay. If you do 3 pi over 6, that can be simplified because you can simplify 3 over 6. If you do 4 pi over 6, that can be simplified because you can simplify 4 over 6. But you cannot simplify 5 pi over 6, so that's the trick. This one is 5 pi over 6. Okay, that's the trick. The next one. You can simplify 6 pi over 6, so it's not that. You cannot simplify 7 pi over 6. Okay, and the next one, you can simplify 8 pi over 6. You can simplify 9 pi over 6. You can simplify 10 pi over 6. But you cannot simplify 11 pi over 6. Now let's work on the middle ones. Okay, so the middle one's always going to be over 4. So this is going to be 45 degrees is going to be something over 4. 135 degrees is going to be something over 4. 225 is going to be something over 4. And 315 will be something over 4. And again, the trick is they cannot be simplified. So the first one, 1 pi over 4, you cannot simplify. I'm just going to write pi over 4. You can simplify 2 pi over 4, so that's not the next one. But you cannot simplify 3 pi over 4. Okay, the next one. You can simplify 4 pi over 4, but you cannot simplify 5 pi over 4. And the next one. You can simplify 6 pi over 4, but you cannot simplify 7 pi over 4, so that's the next one. All right, we're almost done. Again, the goal is to have this memorized. The next one, the ones closest to the y-axis, are always going to be over 3. So something over 3 up here. Something over 3 up here. This one will be something over 3. And this will be something over 3. Same, the same trick applies um, for whatever reason. They just cannot be simplified. So the first one, 1 pi over 3, that's good. Just write it as pi over 3. Don't put the 1 pi over 3. That's good. Notice how these are all just pi's. Okay? Hopefully you can remember that trick too. So pi over 3 is good. You cannot simplify 2 pi over 3. So that's the next one. Okay? You can simplify 3 pi over 3, so skip that. But you cannot simplify 4 pi over 3. So that's the next one. And you cannot simplify 5 pi over 3, so that's this one right here. Okay. Now, eventually, we are going to add on more. There's going to be more that you're going to have to memorize eventually, but not today. That's all you have to memorize for today. 
right? The unit circle. Again, you really want to have that memorized, the degrees and the radians, okay? You should be able to get to a point where I give you a blank unit circle and ask you to fill all this in, and you should be able to do it very fast. Eventually, that's the goal. That's where we're headed. That's going to be very helpful going forward. And that's the end of that lesson, degrees, radians, and arc length.